Tulsa Police Department sees community policing as the future. Through proactive measures and engaging with young people in the community, they feel they can stay one step ahead of problems. That's my biggest reward is being able to not come in contact with kids that we arrest. But just seeing these kids who walk up to me with good grades, who I know, like, I'll never have to arrest him because he's he's on track. Meanwhile, look at Precious. But that's okay. tough to do when you're facing a major manpower shortage. But the calls don't stop. And those proactive measures will always take a back seat to 911 calls. It's hard. And so sometimes we drive by that kid that's sitting on the curb waving at us, and that may be the, the thought, the perception he has is we don't have time. For an idea of the problem, listen to the chief's response when I asked him about this shortage. I think that's probably an understatement. For Chief Chuck Jordan, the situation is a crisis. For the Tulsa Police Department to be effective and staffed at modern levels, he tells me it needs another 160 officers. The sad reality, we are at 1990 numbers. We're at the same numbers we had in 1990. And since 1990, the city's population has jumped by nearly 40,000 residents. Adding insult to injury is the fact the current staffing level is around 15 percent short due to leaves, suspensions and or openings. It's hard to go to work every day knowing that you're, you're going to start out your shift 15, 20 calls behind. According to the chief, funding or a lack thereof is the biggest issue and that's where Vision Tulsa comes in. That plan will provide $272 million over 15 years to grow the department and address violent crime, like last year's record number of homicides. Violent crime, there is a, a very clear correlation between the number of officers you have and the number of violent crimes that occur in a community. And the ultimate goal is having enough officers so community policing becomes a reality. Officers in a given area will get to know the people in that community and that will have enough officers will that, where they will have the time to do that instead of being in their call, uh, their car going from one call to another all the time. It's probably inside the wire, man. Connecting so. the community <laughs> instead of connecting the calls. In Tulsa, Corey Duke, two works for you.